In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the Little Rock Lake monitoring data that is collected throughout the years. And this is on the RMB Laboratories website. This is the contractor that we send all of the water samples to, and they put all this information on their database. And then I'll show you how to access that information. You go to the lake's database. And then to view Little Rock Lake, you can choose from different viewing. So if you want um, a graph format or a table format, we're going to do a graph individual lake data. So you come over here, choose county, Little Rock Lake, site. There's three different sites. We'll do 204. And then here's all the dates of the monitoring, 12, 2012, latest day is September 28, 2021. We will look at total phosphorus concentrations. Click view reports, and then it'll pop up a graph. Um, you can click over here for understanding the report. So it'll give you um, a very simplified explanation of total phosphorus, chlorophyll, and the other parameters that are measured. You can go back. Um, a trend analysis report will give you a trend line. It'll show you on average where the data is going. So our total phosphorus is decreasing um, right up here. And go look at a different site, 205. Psyche dip, disc depths are increasing, which means water clarity is improving. RMB does provide a training, which is on a PowerPoint up here. Like monitoring training videos, how to use a Secchi disk, uh, sampling kit components, and a few other things. Resources, you can come here and learn what total phosphorus is, chlorophyll, uh, dissolved oxygen, which is DO, some interactive tools, learn about aquatic plants, shoreline restorations, um, other groups down here, uh, Minnesota Board of Soil and Water, DNR. Clicking around, seeing what you find is a good way to get familiar with it. But the big takeaway is the monitoring data is located on this lakes database tab. And then to view the uh, Little Rock Lake data, you'll want to go to individual lake data and, or the trend analysis report over here is where you type in your criteria, hit review ports, and that is where you will get your graph and get a view all the data on there.